Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we're going to be looking at uh, kind of an interesting build setup here uh, in Queen with uh, the Argent Wolf Bayonet, uh, because you get this here in the Government Center, so and it matches my outfit and Jack very nicely. Um, so we're going to be running that. And uh, the point here is to make use of Lifesteal interacting with Blood Sacrifice. Um, so every time we use a Blood Sacrifice, uh, we will... Uh, use 20% of our health and we'll get 75% uh, of that back so we'll get 15% of our health back so we'll be left with only a 5% health loss but every time we use that we get 6 I-Core which means that we're able to do 3 charge shots and if we kill 3 enemies on 3 charge shots then we will get back 15% of our health while at the same time only using 5% of our health. So we'll be regaining 10% of our health uh, every time we use a Blood Sacrifice, if we are so lucky. And now if we don't uh, go ahead and use Blood Sacrifice and we just want to use our Blood Veil, we'll get back 13 and a half I-Core on a backstab here. Um, so to kind of show you uh, what this looks like here, um, there we used uh, 1, 2, uh, and three, so that's 15% of our health that we went down. Okay, so there's four, so there's 20%, uh, there's 25%, uh, 30%, and that's good. And we can do this, and there's 35% uh, of our health that we went down. Okay, and if we run over here, we shoot that guy. And we shoot that guy, and we shoot that guy, so we're able to uh, get back uh, a healthy amount of our health there uh, without uh, without any real any problems. So uh, as we run through the uh, government center here, we'll be banking on this kind of uh, setup here that we go for overall to make sure that we have uh, super access to uh, everything. Whoops, that we're gonna need to uh, run against here. Whoops, and I didn't get a backstab, which is really unfortunate. Uh, so we'll have to go ahead and get ourselves uh, up and running here as best as we can. Uh, and the uh, audio cuts out when you're behind the wall like that, unfortunately, so you can't hear anything. So whatever. Okay, and uh, as we go ahead and start uh, getting uh, some backstabs, ouch, and uh, maybe maybe kill a guy, uh, if I can get a backstab even, good grief, yeah, go heal up Jack, that's good, uh, this guy will go ahead and shoot him, okay, almost, and, uh, this guy, oh, okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, and as you can see, uh, we're really, really not, um, equipped in such a way to go for, um, any kind of, uh, heavy abuse here of our of our damage overall but uh, we should be able to kill at least two guys now uh, so we'll shoot this guy as long as he uh, stays in that in that line there okay good and uh, we do need a backstab here on this fella if I can get it there we go so that'll be uh, a, a really good amount of icor there uh, and we'll go ahead and kill him and uh, Let's see. We'll kill this guy. So very good uh, to go ahead and get uh, back a little bit of health here along the way. And, uh, oh. Okay. We'll shoot this guy. Good. Oh, a tungsten. How nice. So you can see how this uh, can definitely work out uh, pretty well here in uh, the government center overall uh, to make sure that you um, to make sure that you get enough damage out on the enemy. But uh, it's always going to be, um, you know, a real uh, problem overall. Uh, and here we will go ahead and uh, load up on i on this lady, if we can uh, get the backstabs here. And Jack should be okay over there. Um, if, if I can get the backstabs, good grief. Um, she just uh, is not uh, giving me what I want here. There we go. Now, uh, getting back uh, this huge amount of I-Core is uh, critical and vital to actually um, to actually getting 
what we want during each of these encounters. Uh, if we don't uh, have the i to uh, get the backstabs and such, then we're going to be in a really, really uh, hard position here. Okay, good. And we'll go for uh, hasten. Here's a better battleground. Good, and then we'll go ahead and do these things uh, so we can go ahead and load up. Uh, maybe we can hit the dog. Yep, okay, good. And that'll uh, bring it over here. And hopefully I get the kill. So that gets me 5% of my health back. That's good. And we'll go for Jack. Good. And now this. Okay. And uh, we should be able to run out here and shoot a guy and shoot a guy and uh, shoot a guy. And it doesn't matter which one runs in front, uh, we're able to kill them outright. Excellent. So very, very good uh, there. And we only have one shot left uh, before we have to use uh, Blood Sacrifice. So we'll go for this guy. Good. And then uh, we'll sidestep his bullet, shoot him. Uh, and then one, uh, two. Okay. And uh, maybe we get a backstab. Uh, nope, no backstab. Okay. Uh, either way, uh, it still works out uh, for our benefit here. And uh, we've only healed once. So that's, uh, that's not too bad overall. So let's get this guy interested. And uh, this guy is uh, very tough because we do need a uh, backstab on him. Good job, Jack. Ooh, he actually shook his head like a little puppy. That was kind of weird. Uh, so if we don't get uh, backstabs here, uh, we're going to be in uh, super dire straits here for our i recovery um, because our bayonet is horrible to recover i -Core. So we're going to have to uh, keep that in mind here as we go ahead and... Uh, oh, an Argent Wolf Blade. How nice. So we'll go for a um, couple of uh, gift extensions here and such just to get ourselves up and running. Now we will need uh, Cleansing Light. Now this guy will be a little easier to get backstabs on and such uh, just because of uh, how his body is shaped compared to the, um, uh, to the shield guy. So we'll go ahead and use him as kind of a, a, a backstab battery here for us to make sure that we get enough backstabs to get back up to uh, full i core here as possible. And we get the kill also, so that's very, very good. We'll go for Jack. So you can see that uh, um, the uh, backstab portion here is going to be um, critical and vital to our success. Okay. And let's go for a charge booster, because why not? And we'll go ahead and just shoot this guy in the back. Okay. Because then uh, we can go for... Whoops. Oh. Okay. I'm shooting the wrong direction there. Oh, whoops. We have no uh, i -core. Okay, let's go for a launch then. So that gets us uh, a good amount of i -core back, while at the same time uh, getting, getting the kill on this fella. And you can see that even though we did get hit in whatever... Uh, it really doesn't matter. We're, we're still okay. Okay, he's dead. That's good. And let's go for a, a, a no backstab. Okay. There's a there's at least a partial uh, backstab there, so that gets us at least some eye core so we can uh, shoot this guy. And you can see there, um, uh, what is that? Um, oh... Ranged impact definitely is uh, not uh, doing us any favors there because we definitely need more i -core to be available to us uh, when we use it. And for example, uh, like now. Okay. And uh, we can go for. Uh, whoops. Okay. That was only one i -core for 5% of our health back. And we can. Whoops. There we go. And that uh, helps us. Uh, recover our i -core where necessary, um, even though, oh no, we ran out of, out of Fatal Surge. Okay, uh, hopefully, oh boy, I was going to say, hopefully we can uh, get a shot on this guy and uh, get uh, some good damage, uh, as well as maybe a backstab or two, uh, since, uh, since we need to have Jack up and running here as we get through the uh, center. Okay, we didn't get the kill on him, but that's okay. We got several of the other kills through here, so uh, all's, all's well, that ends well. Uh, good enough. Yeah, I did. 
I did dodge it. You are right about that, Jack. Okay, so here we'll go for this. Okay. We'll try for um, not dying uh, here without uh, seeing what we're doing. And we'll go for a couple backstabs here. And uh, this should help us to uh, kill kill this guy. Good. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and heal at least one there. And we'll go for Jack at the moment. Because that'll help us on our uh, backstabs uh, damage and stuff. Uh, okay. And nobody dropped down, so we're still in uh, good hands here. Let's go for gift extension. And the uh, backstabs here will obviously um, afford us um, many, many, many uh, good abilities here. And uh, hopefully we get the kill so we get an extra 5% of our health back. Okay. I'll go for Hasten. And I, I don't believe I can hit these guys uh, in any way with a with a bayonet, so we'll just have to head on our merry way here. And, okay, Jack. And this guy will take a backstab so we can get Cleansing Light uh, next, um, just because that will be uh, mandatory for us uh, when we get to these guys. Okay, good. And we'll go for Cleansing Light. So you can see that the, uh, that the build works out uh, pretty well, pretty simple, pretty basic here overall. Uh, for something like this, uh, we can go ahead and shoot him, and uh, he's gone. Okay. And I guess we'll go for um, a drain on him for a shot. I probably should have gone for just a regular attack there, but uh, that's okay. And now the bayonet uh, fella is going to come down, and oh, he's moving sideways. Okay, oh, he's moving sideways. There we go. <laughs> uh, moving sideways. Walking slowly sideways is absolutely our worst uh, nightmare. Okay, so now it's time to load up again on i here and everything um, because uh, these guys will definitely um, put us down pretty hard if we uh, don't uh, respect them and uh, do our due diligence here against them. So uh, we go ahead and just uh, make short work of these guys and get our gifts going again with Jack. Okay. And this is really, really um, where some of the... Uh, some of the goodness here in the um, uh, government center comes into play is just the fact that you have the ability uh, to really put down uh, each and every enemy uh, really simply really easily with not too many issues overall and uh, as you see here we're out of uh, we're out of um, uh, hasten so we can go for uh, a mobility enhancer uh, so we can go ahead and shoot uh, this lady for a, a pretty easy kill there okay and we can go for this fella good and uh this fella here so the argent oops the argent wolf bayonet uh definitely has uh the ability to put out the damage uh when you need to when you're paired up uh with jack and with everything Make along sure here slip. and uh remember that this is uh Something the useful? hardest difficulty here as well so um all of these uh damage sets and everything are uh, pretty good, pretty useful versus, um, you know, I mean, obviously you can you can take out uh, any enemy Don't in the game far, uh, pretty easily and pretty simply uh, just going for this setup. Obviously, you have to get through the game uh, uh, once with, uh, with uh, Jack or somebody to uh, have access to all of this, um, so keep that in mind as well. So we'll go for a regular shot on him just to uh, get the damage going. And uh, for this lady, we'll uh, go ahead and use her as as a uh, battery here to get uh, Ikor up on. And when you're in the in the uh, thickness there, uh, you can't really see much anyways. So uh, okay, <laughs> but uh, you can see that it's definitely going to be useful for us to um, actually get uh, all of our Ikor back and more um, because Hasten is available. Uh, Jack is going to be available again with Fatal Surge, and this is a great way that you can go about um, uh, using using your partners over and over and over and over. Okay, let's go for Jack, and uh, we're still at full health as you see, um, and because we uh, are killing enemies at a pretty good distance here, 
uh, overall. We don't really need to go for a uh, charge booster or anything of that sort. Uh, okay, let's back up. Um, because we're killing enemies in one shot anyways, um, it really does make up for the fact that uh, we really don't have a lot of i recovery, except in our Blood Veil. Um, but then at the same time, it doesn't matter that we don't have fast charge shots or not, uh, because we are killing in one shot. Um, and that makes for some really, really good ability as you get up into these fights here with these with these folks. Uh, so as we get up here, uh, we go ahead and shoot this guy. And as you see now, uh, we are free to uh, do whatever we want. And uh, we can go ahead and um, kill these guys at will, uh, get uh, i -Core back, and so on and so forth. However, we wish to go about it. Um, because we don't have to worry about um, we don't have to worry about uh, the uh, crazy invasion group here. So it's very very nice that we're able to uh, use our bayonet, our veil, uh, to do some really good damage um, for enemies that aren't suspecting us, like you saw there where we had just the guys sitting down on the ground and such. Um, and then at the same time, we're able to uh, put down all of the enemies uh, that we need to when we need to. Uh, now getting into the fight here with the attendant obviously we're at 29 i core so Wait, we'll right be there. down to 19 i core and there's no way to increase that at the moment unless we go back and get a couple of backstabs on some folks um and uh, we don't have hasten or fatal surge but uh those cooldowns are on their way so we'll just go ahead and wait for those now again the attendant she does have that 30 percent uh resist to pierce damage uh, so that'll kind of be a uh, problematic for us but it won't be you know the uh be all end all here for what she has available to us and because we still have eight heals and we're going to get back all of our heals after we beat her uh this will go uh fairly quick uh as compared to you know other bosses in the game and stuff um so there's uh there's no real um worry here or uh or concern at all because uh she doesn't do anything really at distance uh, so if we just keep our distance and uh, pound her from across the room, then uh, we'll we'll be okay as long as we uh, as long as we keep up our uh, barrage at a distance here. Okay, so good and this and this, so that gives us eight shots, uh, which is uh, more than uh, more than we'll need. Okay, there's one and two and three and four, and she's over. So. Yep, uh, pretty easy, uh, pretty easy fight here with her. Obviously, when when uh, you can hit her and she can't hit you. But as you see now, we are down to 19 I core, so we can't go for a fatal surge anymore. Um, so we just have to make sure that we are playing, uh, you know, a little bit more cautious here as we get into uh, these next set of folks, um, just because of the fact that uh, you know we do have a lot of damage available it doesn't mean that we have like infinite damage available to us right uh so we do have to be careful overall so we've got six shots here uh to go for this fella now uh we won't be killing him in one shot anymore but we can kill him in two shots which is very very nice okay and then we will head up around we'll grab the um we'll grab the uh uh pure blood up here and then we'll head on down the giant elevator. Okay, and uh, also most of our damage is in our uh, shots ability here, so we have to make good use of those uh, while we can. Oops. So very good. Um, overall, as you see here, this uh, works out uh, very, very much in our favor overall. We'll go ahead and shoot the dog. Good, and we'll get some i uh, since we can. I mean, why not? And uh, we'll go ahead and shoot the dog and get back uh, a good amount of our health. Um, well, okay, Jack took our kill there. But uh, we don't need to go for the Berserker over there or anything. So uh, we'll just head down the elevator and we'll be in the um, uh, Wolf King fight next. And there's our hair floating, doing different weird things that it should never be doing. And uh, if you shoot in an elevator, your bullets go up, as you see there. Woo! <laughs> Up, upwards they go. Um, so that's kind of funny that uh, vertical and horizontal speeds are actually uh, accounted for in vain here, which is kind of an odd thing that uh, 
that that would even be a thought. Uh, you would think that they would just not let the bullets go upwards, but uh, they would travel with you in that straight direction. But either way, um, it's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's definitely an interesting, intriguing kind of way here to go about uh, getting a bayonet uh, out on the enemy with, paired up with Jack here as you adventure, uh, while at the same time having enough Ikor recovery um, just because of your veil, not because of any other reason. Um, and so that uh, that really makes for some intri intriguing different setups here, uh, to say the least, in how you go about um, in how you go about uh, getting um, getting damage out on the enemy, Watch getting your Icor back, uh, so on and so forth. Because sometimes it's uh, it's a little non-intuitive, as most things are in, in vain, in how you pair up with your partner to um, make for some you know really really good abilities to be able to, you know, kill the enemy quickly to, um, or, uh, or recover i all at the same time. And so you kind of have to be able to choose your enemies, uh, carefully. Now this, this setup here is specific to kill the, uh, Cerberus troopers in one shot here in the government center. If you change out any one of these things, uh, you won't kill them in one shot. It'll be two shots. So the one shot is important uh, because of how Cleansing Light and Blood Sacrifice operate together in in tandem with uh, Life Steal here to make sure that you're not ever overspending your life and that you're most of the time at full health so you can make great use of Blood Sacrifice and Cleansing Light. Um, so that's how that works all together. And the math of it, you know, 5% uh, per kill for two i core. Uh, coming back from lifesteal and the 5% uh, that you use in conjunction with uh, blood sacrifice and cleansing light uh, simultaneously it works out that you always will be uh, positive on your health recovery or at least uh, neutral you uh, shouldn't ever be at a point where you're minus on your health recovery so uh, this this works out uh, very very well here with Jack um, and since all of this is stock, uh, there's nothing here that's DLC or anything like that. So uh, you can play through the game with this kind of a setup. And uh, anything less than uh, max difficulty here, you'll be able to shred uh, probably without Jack. Um, and so uh, it's a good it's a good build uh, moving into you know any other kind of solo activities or different things like that. But uh, with Jack, it makes it just that much more fun. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and tomorrow. Uh, we'll be in the uh, Argent Wolf King fight, the Skull King fight, and uh, we'll we'll see you guys then. Take care.